Okay, so this video is going to be talking about how you use Notability to uh, edit a PDF assignment that your uh, teacher has given you, um, and then get that into a format to be submitted to MyWJ. So here I am in MyWJ, uh, one of my topics for my Modern World History class, um, and we're going to open up this 17.2 worksheet. And if you're using Safari, uh, it's just going to open up a new tab and the worksheet's going to be right there. Um, so you can see it, but you can't edit it at this point. Um, so you're going to want to use the share button in Safari, which is the uh, box with the arrow pointing up in the top right hand corner. Uh, you tap that and you can see here that I have a share to notability button. Uh, if you have notability on your iPad, but you don't see the share to notability button, hit edit actions below that list. Scroll down and make sure share to no notability. Uh, the slider is to the right, not to the left. Uh, so you want to see some green in there. If you don't see green, that means that option isn't available for you. So make sure you see green. And then you can go ahead and tap share to notability. Um, and I am going to create a new note for this since this is its own standalone assignment. Um, and I am going to give it a new title. Call it 17-2 worksheet. Um, and important little side note, I used a dash there and not a period. Um, when you use periods, that can mess up, um, particularly when, when you're submitting to MyWJ. Um, MyWJ works uh, a little bit differently, and when it sees that period, um, uh, it, it can get confused and, and think that you're trying to submit a file format that it doesn't recognize. Um, so use dashes if you're trying to separate things in your file names. So I've got 17-2 worksheet. Um, and in my notability, I do actually have things divided out by subject. This is just a helpful way to keep all your stuff organized in notability. Um, so I'm going to put this into my history subject area. And then you hit the import button in the top right here. One file sent to Notability, tap Done. Now, let's go to Notability. And wouldn't you know it, there's my file right there, 17.2. Um, and it's in, you can see it's got the history uh, below it, so it's in my history topic, um, or in my history notebook in Notability. Then, of course, I would diligently complete the assignment. Uh, European Colonial Expansion... Uh, world economy. And then I put some notes in here because that's what the instructions tell me to do. And of course, I would do that all the way down for all the questions. Um, but once I have this finished assignment, uh, I'm going to need to get it to my WJ because my teacher wants me to submit it. So you go to the top right corner and you see the triple dots. You tap the triple dots. And you can just do the quick share because the quick share automatically creates a PDF, and PDFs are, are a great file format for MyWJ um, to, uh, to understand. So you tap the quick share, and you're going to need to save this somewhere first. Um, my suggestion is to save it in your OneDrive. Um, so you bring up the save window after you tap on OneDrive, um, and I want to choose a particular location. I'm going to have this in my Modern World History folder. This is a Chapter 17 item, so I'm going to put it in my Chapter 17 folder, um, and I'm going to tap Upload here. It is now uploaded to my OneDrive, so let's go to OneDrive, Modern World History folder, Chapter 17. There it is, right here, 17.2 worksheet with my work saved on it. So when I go to submit on my WJ, all I got to do is go into my OneDrive and it will be there waiting for me.